polar opposites, Arctic versus Antarctic. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're embarking on a journey to the ends of the Earth, to those icy, awe-inspiring landscapes that captivate the imagination, the Arctic and the Antarctic. These polar regions, seemingly similar in their stark beauty, hold remarkable differences, a dichotomy of nature that has shaped their landscapes, wildlife, and even their destinies in the face of a changing world. Join me as we delve into the heart of these frozen realms, peeling back the layers of ice and snow to uncover the secrets that lie beneath. Our journey begins with a fundamental difference that shapes the very essence of the Arctic and the Antarctic. The Arctic, you see, is an ocean embraced by the continents of North America, Europe and Asia. Its icy expanse is not a landmass in itself, but a frozen sea, its edges merging with the shores of these great landmasses. The Antarctic, on the other hand, is a continent in its own right, a vast landmass cloaked in ice, surrounded by the vast Southern Ocean. This distinction, so crucial, dictates the very nature of these polar regions. The Arctic, influenced by the warmth of surrounding continents, experiences a greater variation in temperature. Its icy grip loosens during the summer months, allowing for the miraculous bloom of life in the form of tundra vegetation. Antarctica, isolated by its frigid waters, remains colder, a realm of extremes where life clings to existence in the face of constant cold. The Arctic and Antarctic, both locked in a perpetual embrace with ice and snow, might seem equally inhospitable. Yet the Mercury tells a different tale. The Antarctic, that isolated continent at the bottom of the world, reigns supreme in its icy dominion, boasting the lowest temperatures ever recorded on our planet. Here at the South Pole, the thermometer plunges to a bone-chilling minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, a coldness so profound that it challenges the very limits of life. The Arctic, influenced by the currents of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, experiences milder winters, its temperatures rarely reaching such extremes. This difference in temperature, a subtle yet defining characteristic, dictates the very nature of life in these polar regions. In the Arctic, the seasonal thaw allows for a brief, glorious explosion of life, a testament to nature's resilience. Antarctica, however, remains a realm of stark beauty. Its frozen landscapes a testament to the enduring power of cold. The Arctic and Antarctic, both realms of ice and snow, present a fascinating study in contrasts. The Arctic Ocean, a constantly shifting mosaic, sees its icy covering expand and contract with the rhythm of the seasons. During the long winter months, the sea ice spreads its icy grip, a vast frozen expanse stretching across the Arctic basin. Come summer, however, the warmth of the sun weaves its magic, melting the ice and transforming the landscape once more. Antarctica, on the other hand, boasts a more permanent form of icy armor. Here, a massive ice sheet, thousands of meters thick, entombs the continent a testament to the enduring power of cold. This ice sheet, a relic of millennia, flows slowly towards the sea, its edges carving off into colossal icebergs that drift across the southern ocean. The Arctic, with its seasonal ebb and flow of ice, supports a greater diversity of marine life, while Antarctica's ice sheet provides a stable platform for its unique ecosystem. Chapter 4. Tenacious Life, Plants of the Poles even in the harshest environments, life finds a way. The Arctic, with its brief but glorious summer, bursts forth with a surprising display of plant life. Here, across the tundra, a carpet of mosses, lichens and hardy shrubs paints the landscape in vibrant hues. These tenacious plants, adapted to the cold and short-growing season, provide sustenance for a surprising array of creatures. Antarctica, however, presents a far more challenging environment for plant life. The continent's icy grip, coupled with the lack of sunlight for much of the year, makes it difficult for even the hardiest plants to survive. Yet even here life persists. In the few ice-free areas clinging to rocks and warmed by the sun, patches of mosses and algae paint the landscape in subtle shades of green. These pioneers, testaments to the enduring power of life, form the base of a fragile ecosystem. 
Chapter 5 Arctic Wanderers, Mammals of the North. The Arctic, a realm of ice and snow, is also home to a surprising array of land mammals, creatures that have adapted to thrive in this challenging environment. The polar bear, an icon of the Arctic, reigns supreme, its powerful limbs and thick fur perfectly suited for navigating the ice and hunting seals. The Arctic fox, cloaked in a coat of white, blends seamlessly with the snow, its keen senses alert for the slightest sound of prey. Reindeer, with their impressive antlers and sturdy hooves, roam the tundra, grazing on the sparse vegetation. These creatures, each uniquely adapted to the challenges of the Arctic, are a testament to the diversity of life that can flourish in even the harshest environments. Antarctica, however, stands in stark contrast. Its icy shores and frozen interior offer no refuge for land mammals. Chapter 6. Penguins and polar bears divided by a world of ice. The Arctic and the Antarctic, two polar realms separated by a vast expanse of ocean, are home to some of the most iconic creatures on Earth. Penguins, those comical yet graceful birds, are synonymous with the Antarctic. Their waddling gait on land belies their agility in water, where they transform into torpedoes, diving deep in search of krill and fish. Polar bears, on the other hand, are the undisputed rulers of the Arctic ice. Their massive size, powerful paws and thick fur make them perfectly adapted for hunting seals, their primary prey. These two creatures, each a symbol of their respective polar regions, never cross paths in the wild. Their evolutionary journeys have taken them on separate paths, shaping them for the unique challenges and opportunities presented by their respective environments. Chapter 7 Hidden Depths – Life Beneath the Waves Beneath the icy surface of the polar oceans, a hidden world teems with life. The Arctic, with its connection to the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, boasts a diverse array of marine creatures. Narwhals, those elusive unicorns of the sea, patrol the icy waters. Their spiraled tusks a mystery yet to be fully understood. Walruses, with their impressive tusks and blubbery bulk, congregate on ice flows, their deep rumbles echoing across the frozen landscape. Antarctica's southern ocean, though seemingly inhospitable, is equally teeming with life. Here, leopard seals, sleek and powerful predators, patrol the icy depths, while whales, some of the largest creatures on Earth, migrate to these nutrient-rich waters to feed on krill, the tiny crustaceans that form the base of the Antarctic food web. Both polar regions, though vastly different in their terrestrial environments, share a common bond in the richness and diversity of their marine ecosystems. The Arctic, for millennia, has been home to indigenous peoples who have forged a deep connection with this icy realm. The Inuit, spread across Canada, Greenland and Alaska, have survived and thrived in one of the harshest environments on Earth. Their knowledge of the land and sea passed down through generations. The Sami, with their reindeer herds, have roamed the northern reaches of Europe for centuries, their culture intricately intertwined with the rhythms of nature. These indigenous communities, guardians of the Arctic, possess a wealth of knowledge about the delicate balance of life in these extreme environments. Their traditions, stories and ways of life offer valuable insights into sustainable living and the importance of respecting the natural world. Antarctica, in stark contrast, has never been home to a native human population. Its frozen shores, isolated by the vast southern ocean, remained untouched by human hands until the age of exploration. Antarctica, a continent dedicated to peace and science, stands as a testament to international cooperation. The Antarctic Treaty, signed in 1959, designates the continent as a natural reserve devoted to peace and scientific research. Scientists from around the world converge on Antarctica, studying everything from climate change to penguin populations, their work providing invaluable insights into our planet's past, present and future. The Arctic, however, faces a different reality. While scientific research is crucial in this region, the Arctic is also home to permanent settlements, industries and resource extraction. The quest for oil, gas and minerals driven by the demands of a growing global population, presents both opportunities and challenges for the Arctic. Balancing economic development with environmental protection is a delicate task, one that requires careful consideration and international cooperation. 
The Arctic and Antarctic, these pristine, seemingly untouched realms, are on the front lines of climate change. The Arctic, in particular, is experiencing warming at an alarming rate, its sea ice shrinking with each passing year. This melting ice not only threatens the habitat of iconic creatures like polar bears, but also contributes to rising sea levels, impacting coastal communities around the globe. Antarctica, though geographically isolated, is not immune to the effects of climate change. Warming waters are causing the edges of its massive ice sheet to melt and break away at an accelerated pace, contributing to the global rise in sea levels. The fate of these polar regions is intricately linked to our own. Understanding the impacts of climate change on these fragile ecosystems is crucial for mitigating the global effects of a warming planet. As we bid farewell to the Arctic and the Antarctic, we carry with us a profound respect for these awe-inspiring landscapes and the remarkable creatures that call them home. From the icy plains of Antarctica to the tundra of the Arctic, these polar regions offer a glimpse into the power of nature, the delicate balance of life and the interconnectedness of our planet. The differences between the Arctic and the Antarctic, so stark and defining, remind us that nature is full of surprises, a tapestry woven with infinite variety. Let us carry the beauty and wonder of these polar realms in our hearts and let their fragility serve as a reminder of our responsibility to protect our planet for generations to come. If you enjoyed this journey through the poles, don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures.